Hi to everyone, your Pi Ralph here with some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Last episode, we did a ton of errands, and we also backtracked to all of the places that had purple chests beforehand, since we now have the ability to open those. But now, we are going to go advance the story by seeing the Khalifa in Alma Moon. So, let's, let's uh, head on over there. Good thing we can just teleport there in an instant. Okay, so now that we're back here in Alma Moon, I did, when I was doing my backtracking in the last episode, I did forget to go check around the Fairyland to see if there was anyone there that had anything important, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. When I was looking up all the, or when I was going through all the purple chests, I looked up a guide just to make sure because I didn't trust my memory on where purple chests were in previous areas, but other than that, like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing that I'm missing in previous areas but who knows anyways let's um let's go get this holy wood or whatever it's nice to see you again your majesty I say you have returned now tell me boy have you located that handsome young man in the picture we so generously gave you yeah he's a prince okay then that picture of yours came in proper useful in the end your majesty even if you did only have it because you had a crush on the poor lad See, we're most pleased to hear that you accomplished your aims, but what brings you back to us, pray tell? Uh, your majesty, have you heard of the clarion? Indeed we have. Are we to take it that you required the aforementioned instrument? Is the time finally at hand? That's right, your majesty. We needed to cross the miasma marshes. Abul, you heard the young man. Fetch, you know what, this instant. Okay then, most bountiful bovinity. I present to you the holy wood. That was easy. I thought, a yeah, part of me was like, oh, someone stole the holy wood. That's what's going to happen. But no. Guard that wood with your lives, won't you now? Who can say how long it will take for another branch like that to grow? Gee, thanks, your majesty. This means we can do battle with Shadar. So you really do intend to face him. Tell us, are you familiar with the events of the Wizard Wars? It's in the Wizard Companion, right? Yeah. It was the most protracted and bloody affair, and at the end of it, only three kingdoms remain. Alma Moon, Ding Dong Tell, and Hamelin. Ah, the three ruling families vowed then to keep the peace, and the clarions served to symbolize their sacred pledge. But when the shadow of the Dark Jinn fell across the world, our three kingdoms were driven into a simply frightful series of disputes. In retrospect, it is most unfortunate that we did not join forces and make a new clarion back then. Join forces, your majesty? That's right, boy. Now, if we recall correctly, you have already visited each of the three kingdoms. Yes, we have. Let's see, we're close personal friends with the bigger cheeses in every kingdom. It amuses us to think that a dear little boy should be the one to mend the bridges between our kingdoms. Uh, thanks, Your Majesty. Yes, thanks, Your Majesty. I'd love to stay in chat, but this clarion won't make itself. Shall we head over to the next kingdom? So, next up is, yeah, Ding Dong Dell. Okay. This seems easy enough. Well, let's, um, head on over there. Just to make sure I did off screen go to Ding Dong Dell, or not Ding Dong Dell, the fairy ground before. Going here to uh, this place. Oh, hello. Something's going on. Uh, but yeah, I went to the fairy ground before heading to Ding Dong Dell, and there's nothing there. Yep. So off to see the cat king, eh? The cat king, is it? Uh, this place really takes me back. It's been a while since we've seen him. Listen, I'm sure you're enjoying your trip down memory lane, but haven't we got business to be taken care of? I hate to say it, but Swain's right. We need to complete the clarion, and that means green this whole or getting this holy wood. Um, did we lose it? Oh, this is bad. Oh, uh, well, you'd know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? There you go, bringing up ancient history again. Look, you're the one who lost it. Don't go blaming me. I had it all this time, I swear. Stop fighting, both of you. If it's missing, we have to find it, and fast. You're not wrong, Ollie Boy. Let's ask some of the folks around by here if they've seen it. Okay. This is not good because we definitely need that holy wood in order in order to make that clarion i wonder is there anyone that could have that we've met before that could have possibly stolen it um judging by the map huh okay so they're in the armor shop that's 
weird. Why would it be there? That's what that's what I want to know. Cuz as far as I know, like this armor shop hasn't really been relevant to the plot or anything. Um, hello? Oh dear, you look quite worked up. What's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty rotten thieves pinched our... Hold on a minute. Look over there. By that. Oh, yeah. There it is. Is that what's caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? I thought it would make a rather nice window display. Just a piece of wood. Uh, don't play me your... Don't tell me you were playing on winching weapons and it... You were, weren't you? Mr. Com Cotter Master, sir. That holy wood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen, but I've only just bought it. And for a price, I would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rooked. Great so, man. Whoever sold it to you must have pinched it from us, ain't it? Uh, let's see. I did wonder how you could have come by such a valuable item. So you know the person who sold it to you, sir? It was that young mouse, the one with the glasses. Oh, is it the boss that we fought? Uh, let's see. Just just because you say he's guilty doesn't make it true. If you want me to believe, you're going to have to bring me some proof. See, there's only one thing for a dog. We're going to have to catch that mouse and get him to confess. Okay, then. Mouse with glasses. I mean, the only mouse we've seen here is the one that was at the boss of the Ding Dong Well. So, yeah. You're not a mouse. There are forging spots dotted all over the world. You shouldn't... What? What? Wait, hold up. Do I need to use a spell? It's, nope, not that. Uh, no, not form familiar. Nope. Nature's tongue? No, not that. Uh, reveal the where, but no. Let's see. No, not take heart. Not, it can't be vacate or this. No. Okay, what is it? What's what's the key here if this NPC is the one that has it? Or has or knows the mouse or whatever. Is there a spell here? No. Nope. I can't wait to use Unleash just because that that's the one that summons like the guardians that we fought, I believe. Uh, let's see. Burden. What can it be? Let's see. Not breach time. We can only use that once in our lifetime. I I don't get it. None of these are working. What if I... That's... It's not gonna work, because there's no chess here. Or... Is it up there? I can't exactly get up there. Huh. Or maybe... Maybe up here. Oh. Okay, I'm dumb. Let's see. Yeah, you're definitely the little thief. You're the one who... I, I feel super dumb now. <laughs> Let's see. You're the one who tried to make a quick guild or something. Holy, what aren't you? Hey, how'd you find me? Or, uh, I'll never do it again. Honest, never... Okay, your name's not... Hip. What made you start stealing? I needed the money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blinking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have anyway? Nice try, dumb dumb. <laughs> really? That's the best he's got? And then you'll just laugh at me for being a silly little mouse with big ideas. Uh, this doesn't be so flippin' defensive, mouse face. No, we did just corner him, to be fair. Anyway, let's call the little runt and head back to the Cotter Master's store, shall we? Wait a second, you guys. Is it just me or does Pip really remind you of somebody? You mean you might share a soul with someone back in Motorville? I think so, but I'm not sure who it could be. Um, Pip, would you mind telling us a little bit more about your dream? We won't laugh at you, I promise. 
Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who sleeps with a stupid doll? What? Is that true, Oliver? No, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. To be fair, that doll was strippy. How grown up are you? I bet you're still dragging around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I do not. I told you, I don't sleep with a doll anymore. I stopped taking Miss Drippy to bed almost a year ago. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Stop being mean. She's not my... Anyway, I don't I don't sleep with a doll. Cut it out, will ya? Phil! Okay. Okay, then. Guess we need to go see Phil back in Motorville. I mean, we could have just, like, caught him in a cage. Okay, but there's no mistake. He can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tiny, I think we've got a, our man. Sorry, I'll, whenever I see the spelling for that, it just weirds me out. Okay, so guess we need to go help Phil. Oh, does this mean that we could potentially get another virtue? Maybe. But let's let's head on over and see. I mean, like, the order of events as we've seen it usually when we come back to Motorville is someone needs help, we help them, then we fight a, a void boss, and then we get a new virtue out of it, so that's generally how it goes. I'm definitely not going the right way. Or am I? Yes, I am. Cool. Wrong house. There we go. Heh, <laughs> you're a mouse in another world. Oh, it's you. Coming to get even, huh? Even? Even for what? All I wanted was to build an auto all of my own. A hot rod faster and finer than any other. Sure you did, Phil. It was what we both wanted. But my dream, it... It killed somebody. Gee, uh... It... It killed your mom. Don't say that, Phil. Don't ever say that. It wasn't your fault. I don't want to worry you, Ollie Boy, but there's a funny look in your mate's eyes. Okay, so we got the Void of Ambition. I was right in that um, we'd be fighting one of these, but honestly, I don't, I'm not too worried. I should defend. Did my defense work? Uh, you know what? I want to try Unleash. Oh, so this, this, this is how it works. Brings up another menu and... The spells we cast are... I think these are all techniques that the previous bosses that we fought have used. So let's try Howling Blizzard. Oh, that is so cool. Literally. Oh, I love it. 182 damage. Not bad. Let's see. Reign of Terror. Defend. I missed the chance to do that, but I'm not too worried like I've been saying because oh Oh, we can't cast spells Eh. That's fine. Oh Esther's down. Okay. There goes me being um, a little bit careless there Let's do let's let's switch back over to me and Bring her back I think she was like poison or something because her damage was decreasing constantly or her HP was But um, yeah, let's do that I'm not exactly too worried like I've been saying just because We we are a little bit over leveled So This shouldn't take too much time Let's see, what would be a good thing to use against this? That would do a lot of damage. I mean, maybe, um... Maybe Arrow of Flight might do some damage. 
Let's, let's try it. Sorry about that. Just got interrupted, but... Uh, I was selecting a spell. It's a good thing time pauses when you're doing this, because I would have been dead a while ago. That didn't do as much as I would... I hoped it would. Oh well. I should have I should have had everyone defend against that. Oh well. I defended against it, so that's that's all that matters, right? Well, either way, this thing's almost dead. It will. Oh, cool, perfect. Just got a whale on you. Ooh, I could use a miracle gun right now. I see it, and I want oh, to drop two of them. Oh, I want to see this conflagration. Ooh, rosy glow, nice. Also, I like the the striped underwear that that familiar has. So, what is this? It's a fire attack. Cool. Well, it's a shame that Plessy is only like level 13, because otherwise I probably could have done a ton of damage. Okay, let's let's keep on going. Almost dead. There you go. Here, big boy. Most most of these voids have like have been not as big. Oh well. Neat. Quite a few things have leveled up here. I mean, Plessy is going to be catching up. Same with um, our other... Ooh, Dropsicle. That's a nice name. What is this? Ooh. Uh. Hmm. I'm... Let's get rid of Enlighten, because we don't really use that. Okay. Thunderstorm. Cool. Phil. All of it. It's all my fault. Flippin' heck, the poor lad's still broken hearted. Phil. You must really hate me, Ollie. I guess we're not friends anymore, huh? No, I, I never said that. Should've been me. Should've been me in that car. Oh, no, don't, don't say that. You can't think like that, Phil. It won't change anything. What was I thinking trying to build a car? If I hadn't built that hunk of junk, none of this would have ever happened. Phil, this isn't what my mom would've wanted. She, would want, she wouldn't want to see you like this. You were trying to make our dreams come true. You were trying to make the neatest car in the whole world, remember? Our dreams? Oh, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't nice. Phil. I feel really bad for Phil. My mom would never want us to give up on our dreams. I just know it. You remember all those times you'd sneak into the car factory? Remember the old guy we made friends with there, the engineer? He told us all about cars, didn't he? And we promised him we'd make a car better than anything Motorville had ever seen. Sure, my mom used to tell us we had cars on the brain, but when she heard us talk about our dream, she'd smile. She never really got mad at us, did she? I remember. She wanted us to follow our dreams. I know she did. Follow our dreams? I know, it's what my mom would have wanted. You can't give up on our dream. Well, I never. I didn't see this one coming, Ollie Boy. It's your own heart that's making the locket glow. Oh, that's so cool. Your heart's a brimming with ambition. I should have known. But, but what am I supposed to do? Can I really take a piece of my own heart? Well, it can't hurt to try. Yeah, I guess it can't. So, just take heart from ourself. Huh. That's a neat way to get the last virtue. The impulse to strive for a better tomorrow. I like that. But yeah, that should be the last one, right? Right? That sure felt strange. I guess it must be how all the people who helped us felt, right? Huh. Okay, there's something I need to share with you. 
Okay, let's uh bring him back to normal. Let's see, give heart. Yeah, this this should be the last one, right? Yes. Okay, here you go, Phil. Huh? What did you... What is this? I feel kind of warm inside. I don't know what's wrong with me, Ollie. I just can't. I just can't stop crying. But I feel all warm and fuzzy, too. You know what that is, Phil? That's my mom trying to tell you something. She's telling you to never give up on your dreams. Never give up? That's right. We don't want to let my mom down, do we? So that means we have to keep on going. Keep on chasing after our dreams. I, I can't let my mom down. I won't. You're right, Ollie. I won't give up. I won't give up on my dreams. On our dreams. And that's a promise, Ollie. Phil. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, Ollie. <laughs> Phil. I'm going to study hard and go to college. Then I'm going to build a car that's safe, a car people can rely on. You see if I don't? You'll hold me to that, won't you, Ollie? Sure I will, Phil. Now there's one other thing I gotta tell you, Ollie. If you're gonna keep dressing like a weirdo, I can't be seen with you. Uh, oh, these clothes? I, uh... It's not what you think. Nah, it's okay, really. If you wanna dress like a crazy, who am I to stop you? Now I got important things to do. See you around, kiddo. To tell you the truth, Ollie boy, I didn't know if nabbing a nugget of your own heart was gonna work. Well, it looks like it worked fine, Mr. Drippy. Phil's back to his old self. Been waiting for ages. Where is he? Oh, it's P. Oh, what's wrong with him all of a sudden? Oh, I've been waiting. Where were you? P, what are you doing here? This is my house. P, you mean P's here right now? Yes, she came right out of my house. But how did you get inside? Easy peasy. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, listen, P, I'm not sure I understand. Who are you waiting for? You silly. I've got something to tell you. Oliver, are you sure you'll be all right? Whatever happens. Also, your hair is the same color as, um... Horace, I believe, is his name. And the truth? I'm worried about you, Oliver. Are you sure you'll be alright? Well, I'm not exactly sure what it is you're worried about, P. But as long as my friends are with me, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about me. Good. Oh, Oliver. What is it? I'll always watch over you. Okay? Thanks? So what did P have to say, Oliver? We only heard what you said. She said she was worried about me, so I told her that I had my friends with me, and that I was going to be okay. Of course you are, Ollie boy. You've got the Lord High Lord of the Fairies on your side, ain't it? And don't forget me. We've been through a fair few scrapes. We're still going strong, aren't we? Huh, as if we'd ever forget you, Swain. Thank you, guys. That means a lot. Now Phil's back to his old self, so let's go see Pip. Right. Back we go to Ding Dong Dell. Okay, then. Well, let's, let's uh, do that. Uh, gateway. That's the spell we use. Okay, now that we're back here, where's this rat? Oh, you're back up there. I, I'm not gonna be fooled this time. I know where it is for real. I know where this rat likes to be. Just up here. I should probably heal up, but... Hmm. We're good. We're fine. Okay, so... We helped your other self, so... Uh, you willing to cut us some slack here? Let's see, look, I'm really sorry. That thing I stole, it was really important, wasn't it? Huh? What a flippin' transformation, man. Looks like this mess really is your pal's soulmate. Thing is, I've already sold it. I sell things to the local shopkeeper, you see? I just don't know what to do. Don't worry, Pip. Let's just explain to the shopkeeper what happened. I'm sure he'll understand. I'm so sorry, Oliver. Ah, oh, you're back, I see. We've caught ourselves a thief. Come on, Pip, squeak out with it. This piece of wood, it was me. I stole it. You stole it? A little chap like you? Yeah? <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. You confessed in the heat that most uh, stole it and sold it to your other... <laughs> wow, I can speak. I haven't spent any of the money, I promise. I'll give it all back to you. Well, I sense this is an item of some value to you and that its loss has caused you some distress. I hate to see it go, but I know where it belongs. Easy peasy. Well, that's that sort of then. We're lucky the shopkeeper wasn't in the mood to rook us. 
I don't know what Rook means in that sense, but okay. But if you turn yourself in and return the money, and you call yourself a thief? I'm no thief, I'm telling you, it was just a moment of madness. I'm so, so sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I mean it. Listen, it's okay. We got it back in the end. Oh, I almost forgot. You said that your dreams had driven you to become a thief. That's right. I've got big dreams, but they don't come cheap. I need guilders and lots of them. Have you ever heard of something called a cloud sweeper? Isn't that a sort of flying broom powered by magic? Not my kind of thing. Well, it's my kind of thing, that's for sure. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to build my very own cloud sweeper. Oh, like a car. That, like, because Phil wanted to build a car. Is it just me, or does he really remind you of someone? He sure does. Say, Pip, building something that goes real fast is super neat, huh? Oh, finally, someone who understands me. Thanks for taking the time to hear me talk about my dreams. Now I need to save some money. The honest way. Good luck, Pip. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, once our adventure is done, we can just give all of this money to him that we don't really need. Anyways... With that done, I guess... I guess I'll end it off here. We did... We did get the holy wood from the Khalifa. And we did help out Phil in Motorville, so... I think that's a good stopping point here. Uh, next time on Ninokuni Wrath of the White Witch, we'll have... We'll have the king here of Ding Dong Dell carve the wood. So, yeah. That's our next objective, but like I said, that's gonna be for the next episode, so... Thank you all so much for watching, and see you all next time for some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Later!